Well, um, pilots and air traffic controllers have been helping England's top referees. It is part of Howard Webb's drive as head of refereeing to improve standards around the video assistant referee VAR system. Two pilots spoke at the professional game uh, man, uh, match officials, uh, PGMOL, uh, training camp last month. Uh, they offered their insight into the best method of communication in a stressful situation where multiple mm. voices are having input. What do you reckon of that there? I what think it's it? re- brilliant. I think, look, we, the technology is there. It's just that we can't run the technology, <laughs> basically. I think the technology is there to help, but I think we're making it more... Thank you, Jack. I think we're making it more of um, a problem for ourselves because we don't know how to use the technology. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we've got the technology there. It works perfectly fine, but we just can't use it to our advantage. <clears throat> so this might help get the communication on what they're seeing over to the referee so the referee can make a clear judgment on what to do next. Because it uh, just sounds like there's too much like there's too much confusion. There was one game, there was one game um, against, I think it was uh, Olympiakos v West Ham away. And there's so the this VAR. Is Europa League, yeah. Yeah, in Europa League. And the, the referee... No, 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 it wasn't even that game. I think it was the Liverpool game or something. I can't remember what game it was, but I just remember the referee, yeah, was being told something on the pitch, but he'd made up his mind saying it was a goal. Yeah, it was the Liverpool. It was actually the Liverpool game, whoever they were playing. And they made made their mind up to say it was a goal, yeah, the referee had. Then the VAR, people at the VAR, called it back and said, go and take a look. Then he's taken a look and instead said it's still a goal for him, yeah. Then something happened and then he goes, no, 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 you got that wrong. Basically, they were saying you've got it wrong. And then they d- didn't give the goal in the end. So it was weird. So it was just so much miscommunication on so if there's white white like one type of language that they all use to say this is what it is and it's clear it might help the decisions that are being made on the pitch just to get rid of it <laughs> no i'm being dead but, serious man because what did the, i think the, nah, i think listen right listen the, the, let's be dead straight about mm. this right the beauty of football is the emotional moments that you go to those football games for, right? You want to see the ball hit the back of the net. Loads of times. Yeah, as many times. For your team. Yeah, yeah, for your team. And you want to lose yourself in the The moment. moment. I'm telling you now, right, if you did a survey of all the Premier League fans that go to games week in, week out, that are watching this, watching football, I think they're second-guessing themselves when it comes to celebrating a goal. If something's tight, if you think to yourself, oh, that might be, that might not be, if the flag's not gone up. Back in the day, you used to be able to look at the linesman, you used to be go, flag's down, we can go. Limbs everywhere. You're over your mates, bike, everything. You're celebrating the goal. You know nothing is going to stop that goal from being ruled out. The referee's not blown. The linesman's not got his flag up. It is a goal. Yeah, you might go and watch match of the day later on. You might find out that he were offside. Mm. Who cares, man? The goal was given. We all Crack move on. on. Yeah. I don't think that the game was that broken for us to have interfered with it to the uh, to the levels that we have interfered with it. It's not the same game, obviously, in the Premier League that now people are playing in grassroots. That it's used faster, to be, though. That used to be the beauty of the whole sport. Mm. I get it. There's a lot more money in at the very top level, yeah. and therefore maybe it has to operate in a slightly different way. I just think we've sucked the life out of what this sport was. Those emotional moments. People to be able to lose themselves in that particular moment. People are now second-guessing themselves when a goal is going in. Yeah, and we are now getting to situations where we're stopping the game. It's taking far too long to come up with very basic, obvious decisions. Yeah, like, I was watching I mean. something the other day where it flashed up once on screen. Within five seconds, I would say 95% of the watching audience could New. comfortably tell... He's offside. Yeah. Move on. Yeah. Why have we got to watch it from 65 different angles? Why have we got to spend three minutes trying to come to this decision? You're killing the game. Mm. There's no need for it. Goal line technology to see whether something's over a line and whatnot. Mm. Cool, man. But let referees referee. Mm. I am prepared, as a fan, to... Putting the onus back on the referee. Give him the power again. Listen, if they get it wrong, they're human. Mm. That's cool. I am prepared to take that hit over a course of a season for my team it's in order for me to enjoy yeah. the game of football again. Yeah. Because now 
VAR has completely diluted the enjoyment for, no, for no, the majority I, of fans. I, I agree with you. I'd obviously rather not. I played in an era where there was no VAR. Um, and to know when it started changing for me as well, like when the rules started to change, you know the offside rule, yeah? So the, you can still continue to play. Although the play is offside... And then you can still continue to play until you go on to the box and then until it calms down or the, the action is finished. Mm. Then they put their flag up, say mm. it was offside. Yeah. Like, why all that, all that running? Yeah. You could have saved, your, saved the player's his legs or you could get an injury Correct. as well. There you go. Do you know what I mean? There could be an injury that can happen in that, in that action. So I just don't understand why they've done too much. They're just tinkering of it a little bit too much. And that it's it's ruining the game. But at the same time, if they do want to employ technology, they've got to know how to use it. And I just don't think they know how to use it. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.